about it too much, too much, too much, too much. There's no need for us to rush this through. So what, Myel Organics sold up, as she would say. I don't know about you, but I could never really use this oil anyway. I didn't write a bad review because I didn't see the point. So I feel like I can customize my own. I took a poll on my YouTube community page and it looks like majority of you feel the same way as I do. If you're new here, I'm April Sunny, and in today's video, I'm making rosemary and mint oil. I picked up this fresh rosemary and mint from my local organic market, as well as this two ounce blue glass dropper bottle. I'll have some linked in my Amazon store if you like to purchase. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it to be helpful, and also subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Okay, so of course we're using the double boil method. Okay, so as you can see, Miss Mayel has 30 essential oils and biotin in her rosemary oil. I don't feel like I need all of that. So I'm customizing this to fit my scalp. So what I'm using today is sweet almond oil because it's known for hydration softness and anti-breakage it's also rich in antioxidants healthy fats and hair helpful vitamins such as a b d e and zinc i'm adding avocado oil because of the moisture it soothes the scalp and repairs the hair shaft it protects the strands from uv and environmental pollutions I've used avocado oil for quite some time now and it makes my hair so soft. I chose grapeseed oil because of the moisture, the shine that it provides, and also because it's very lightweight. Come on, you know I had to add Jamaican black castor oil. It is a thicker oil, but it's very moisturizing. It increases the blood flow to the scalp. It prevents breakage, dandruff. I do suffer from eczema, so it does help with my eczema on my scalp. I love this oil. Not everyone can use coconut oil, but I do like it. It works by helping prevent protein loss in the hair and by me having relaxed hair, that is a must. So coconut oil is a regular go-to. I'm not gonna use much because I don't want this oil to solidify once it's cooled down. And finally, I am using some lavender essential oil. Now I'm using this because it does strengthen the hair and improve the hair's health. It can help with gray hair and frizz. If you have any scalp inflammation, it helps with that. And it definitely stimulates hair growth. Comment down below some of the hair oils you've added to your rosemary and mint oil. My oils are mixed pretty well and they're warm, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the rosemary and the mint to the oils. As I was adding the leaves to the oil, I just wanted to add more avocado oil. I'm not sure why, it just came to me like, just add more avocado oils. So I just listened to my intuition and added more avocado oil and a little bit more of the Jamaican black castor oil. Yep, I'm adding more avocado oil. You guys, sometimes you just gotta listen to your gut. And my gut was saying, add more avocado oil. And I'm actually happy that I did. So I'm just gonna give this a good little stir, mix up everything together. I'm gonna allow this to sit on the stove for about 30 minutes and come back and check it. 
I'm looking for the leaves to look darker. That's what we're looking for. As you can see, they do look darker. I love how it's looking, but I'm gonna let it sit on the stove a little bit longer, but I'm gonna turn the stove off. Is it just me or does this look like collard greens? I mean, seriously. <laughs> anyway, this is the color of it. I expected it to be a little bit darker because I did use the Jamaican black castor oil. If I didn't use that, it probably would be a lighter tone. Um, but this is the amount that I put in. I wanted you guys to see the amount and the color. All right, so now I'm gonna very carefully transfer it to my blue glass dropper bottle. And voila, I made just enough, you guys. I'm so happy that I went ahead and added the additional oils as my gut was telling me because I have just enough to fill this entire two ounce container. This oil is super lightweight. I love all of the ingredients that's in it. We don't always have to go to the store to buy products that we can make our own and customize it to our own hair and skin type. I will be using this oil twice a week, shampooing my hair every two weeks. So only twice a month for a shampoo. And of course, I'm deep conditioning each time I shampoo my hair. I really hope you guys have found this video helpful and inspired you to make your own rosemary and mint oil. And until the next time, be love. There's issues at hand and we're not discussing. Gun saying.